Okay, great. So we'll get started here, and as people come in and more join the webinar, they can catch up. So Pulse is really a revenue optimization system. Um, it's one part call tracking, one part call center, one part CRM. And typically when we try to explain the value of Pulse, it's yes to track advertising campaigns, but it's really a lot more than that. Um, an average company, you know, 90, 100 uh, units, um, and we just use these for round number examples. But an average for every 100 units, we typically will see anywhere from, you know, 10 to upwards of 15,000 inbound calls on an annual basis, which sounds like it's quite a bit, but it's really not. It's maybe 20 a day. Um, and obviously, you're going to have peaks and valleys. Um, average booking of $1,000, you know, some vacation rental companies are a little bit more, some standard hotels are a little bit less. Um, but with, uh, we'll just use this for round numbers. An average uh, $1,000 booking 95 unit company, on average, they might take around 2,500 phone reservations a year. That's if maybe they're doing, um, you know, somewhere in the area of 50 to 60 or 70 percent of their bookings over the phone. And Good companies will close a significant portion, maybe 20, 30 percent. And these numbers on the screen were from a ROI calculation I did the other day, so they might not be completely accurate or updated. But even if they, a company takes 15,000 calls and books 2,500 of those, there's still 12,500 people or availability calls, whether they're unique or not, can be can be. Um, Kind of analyzed, but there's another 12,500 potential warm leads that were qualified enough to pick up the phone, call the property, they're interested in checking availability, make a reservation potentially. That for most companies, they don't know what happens after they get off the phone. Most companies do nothing with it. And there's really only been one company out offering a solution like this, and really only about three to 400 properties, in, which are usually the largest companies, have used something like this in the past. And what Pulse is doing is making it uh, available for all properties, regardless of size, and making it affordable. And what it does is it helps to identify those 12,500 potential warm leads that didn't book on that first user session and, and increase lift, lift in closing rates, lift in additional bookings. If an average company were to just close two more reservations for every 100 phone calls and they were taking this many inbound calls a year, um, at that level of booking, average spend, that'd be about 300 additional bookings or 300,000 incremental gross sales. So it's really about optimizing the current fixed assets or human resources that you have in place, answering the phones, and finding a way to increase conversion. So that's what Track Pulse does. It tracks all calls uh, inbound and outbound and helps to drive conversion. So I'll just jump into the demo with that being said and kind of show you a little bit of information on. Um, how it works or user case. So once I log into the system, it's important to know that this can work separately um, in really with any PM system. You don't need to have a connection for it to work. Um, but as I log into this, I'm logging in as an agent here, I can see a quick dashboard overview of my day. So when I come to work every day as an agent, imagine I was a call agent, I'm gonna log into the, the call queue and actually, it looks like I've logged into the pro interface. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log into the enterprise interface because that's what most folks use. So we're going to log in here. So if I was an agent and I got to work, I'm going to log into my property management system and I'm going to log into my agent dashboard. So once I log into my agent dashboard, I'm going to select my destination. Track Pulse can work from any location, whether you're all in a central office or people need to log in from cell phones from somewhere, wherever it is. It works from any destination. You could change your destination at any time. So I'm going to log in here to this particular number and use that destination. So now I'm logged into the system, but my status is away. So if you're a manager and you're managing a team of call agents, you would have a manager dashboard up and you would see that I'm now active and uh, available or I'm now logged into the queue, but my status is away. I'm not available for calls. Okay. Also, when things get really ramped up and you're in the middle of the day, calls are coming in hot. Um, you're going to see all your calls in the queue, how long they've been in the queue, how many agents available, busy, et cetera. And that can kind of give you an overview of, of where your team is currently at. 
<clears throat> now I'm going to log in and make myself active and available. And now I'm ready to take a call. So since I don't have any calls coming in the queue right now, you'll notice here on the screen, I've got some leads. So these are currently the open leads. And these are the leads that are assigned to me. So I see here my ratings, uh, five stars being the hottest, three stars or one star being the least. Could see the contact, the current status of the lead or opportunity, and I could see a follow-up date. If I had follow-ups for today, I'd click on this and it would show me just my follow-ups today. So it looks like I've got a follow-up with Chris Grimes today. So I'm gonna click into that lead. <clears throat> All right. Now just because you save these leads doesn't mean that you're going to have reservations people sitting making outbound calls all day long many of our customers what they'll do is they'll just save the lead data they'll export it and upload it into an email marketing tool and do some more passive marketing but there's certain times where you are going to want to follow up with someone give them a call to let them know hey I, you know we're down to limited availability if you want this unit you're going to have to go ahead and book now otherwise we're probably going to sell it whatever it might be other areas or situations, you might get folks that have inquired about certain dates that you were full, but you kept them as a lead to follow up with them just in case anything opened up. All of a sudden, you get a big group that cancels. You need to fill availability quickly. You can go back and run a report to find people that inquired about those dates and do an outbound campaign. So there's some different ways you could use a lead stream. Uh, but since I am not actively on a call, um, and this lead came in. I'm going to go ahead and reach out to this particular person and call them. So first of all, I'm going to take a quick look here. I can see any activity history. I can see they're interested in Panama City Beach, a golf group. They're interested in a specific unit, maybe as a specific room, whatever that might be. Um, here's their check-in, check-out date. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this person a call. As I'm doing that, I'm going to take a look to see if I have any information on this person. Are they a VIP customer? Do they have a birthday? Do they have an anniversary? Any information you want on these customers. And you can customize all these forms to, to determine what you want to capture, information you want to capture about your customers to help kind of personalize that, that uh, experience when they're talking to your reservation agents. So I'm going to go ahead and call him. So I'm going to click to call. Now, this is going to track all your outbound dials as well. So I'm going to pick this up, and it's calling my phone, and it's going to be calling uh, this particular lead, which is actually a real person, so I may not connect to it. So <clears throat> what would happen is I would pick up the phone. It would be calling them. I would do my presentation. Hey, Chris, looks like you're interested in these dates. Would you like to book? Now, if I close win that opportunity right there, I'm going to enter in a reservation ID. If I don't win the opportunity, um, and I lose the opportunity, then I can select a reason why. Was it pricing concerns? What was it? This can help you start building an understanding of why people are booking, why they're not booking. And these are custom fields again. Uh, if nothing happens, I don't get a hold of them. Perhaps I could just save an activity, you know, called, no answer, whatever it might be. Um, or I could just move on to the next. So that's your lead follow-up system. But for the purpose of this call, I'm going to go ahead and log into a different number and show an inbound call. So most of the time, obviously, you're just going to be accepting inbound calls. And you have different times here where it's going to get busy. But I'm going to demo what that looks like. Now, presumably, if you're doing advertising out in the marketplace, you want to track the ads you're doing. So as the calls are coming in, you're tracking where they're originating from. You can run ROI reports against that. So I'm going to click into my numbers here in my configuration. And you can provision as many numbers as you like right from the system. It's really simple and easy and fast to provision unique 800 numbers for tracking purposes and attach those to campaigns dynamic web tracking. I'm not going to get into that right now, but I am going to grab this number. So I'm going to call this number here. I'm going to show you what it looks like from several different vantage points within the system. So as a manager, I would see that... Uh, Patrick P. Diddy Power is calling in from the holiday advertising campaign. I'm going to press 1. Okay. Calls recorded. 
representative. Now, since I'm active and in the queue, it's going to recognize me and it's going to automatically forward this to my line. And I'm going to pick up that call. Now my status is I'm on the call. I'm going to hang up. So as that call comes in, I'm going to see that it's Patrick P. Diddy Power. Uh, obviously, our operations people have senses of humor up here. So Patrick P. Diddy Power, I could see that he's blacklisted. I'm actually going to not allow him to make a reservation. But, you know, let's say that this person wasn't. Um, are they a VIP customer? Uh, do they have specific interests? Maybe they like coming for golf or maybe they've been to the spa several times. I'm going to have a really good understanding of who this person is to be able to tailor my conversation, which is really great for enhanced customer experience, which all the big brands have this. Um, but your average you know, independent business just doesn't have these kind of tools. But with Pulse, you can now have these tools and they're affordable. I can also see there's a little check mark by here. It's actually associated with the lead. so. I can answer the phone and say, you know, hi, I see you're interested in Destin. You're, you know, very interested in the indoor pool. Um, you're looking at two different units. Did you want me to go ahead and book those for the 27th to the 28th? So I can really kind of customize, customize that conversation. I can see which campaign it came from, holiday advertising call plan, see that it came into the reservations queue. And after we're done uh, taking the call, if I make the reservation, I can enter in the ID and the value. Um, if I need to lose the sale, I can select the reason why, you know, it didn't happen or didn't occur. If I need to transfer, it, I can transfer it and save it as a non-lead, which will, uh, when you run an ROI report, it'll be just off of leads, not non-leads. Um, otherwise I can save it as an existing lead, which I'm going to do. I'm not going to make any updates here. So I get off of the call. Um, an average disposition form to fill out takes on average between 15 to 20 seconds after the call is complete. So disposition is also known as a lead form. So 15 to 20 seconds it'll take for your reservation agent to quickly make some notes, save the lead. Um, if it requires follow-up or what have you, they can enter that information in there. Uh, but we always recommend at the end of the calls, even if they don't book, to say, well, let me grab your email address from you real quickly. Um, we'll send you out some basic information. Would you like to be part of our newsletters if we offer special deals or packages or whatever it is? And the majority of time, people are willing to give that information. Uh, so once you have that data, then you can do a lot of things with it. You could do the follow-up calls through the email tool. You could do the e or through the call tool. You could do email marketing through um, your own email tools by exporting a list of contacts and leads. And eventually we are building email tools into this. Um, but on average, it takes about 20 seconds to gather that information or to do call wrap up. Um, if you need an extra minute, take an extra minute. But once you wrap that call up, then you're active and available for the next call. But to put it into perspective, if an average shift is four to six hours or eight hours, and you do 20 of these per shift, it's like three to five minutes worth of actual filling out forms. So it actually doesn't take that much time, but it's well worth it to capture that information. So once we have that information, there's a couple ways that we can kind of use it to get an understanding of what's going on with the business. So I'm gonna click into a few reports here and just take a look at some basic reports. We also have a reporting engine, so you can create your own reports or we can create custom reports for you. So once we've done some uh, set up our campaigns, we've taken the calls, we've taken some bookings, and of course this is just a demo, so there's not a ton of data in here, but we can run quick campaign reports. So which campaigns are generating the most calls, which campaigns are generating the most value. Um, you could put unique tracking numbers on all of them and gather that data. You can also run some agent reports. Perhaps you want to run a report um, that shows agent closing ratios. So you can run a report to show how many calls, how many reservations, how many leads, what was the average call duration, what was the average duration per reservation, what was the average revenue per sale, what was the average uh, conversion rate across each one of your agents. Um, you can run productivity reports to understand, you know, oops, let's run a report here. 
Um, how long was the agent available? How long were they in the queue and available? How long were they on calls? How long were they on wrap-ups? How long were they unavailable? How long were they at lunch? How long were they in training? Whatever that looks like. So it helps from understanding a productivity standpoint. All the calls are tracked and logged. And one of the important things or one of the important values of the system is that they're all recorded on the inbound side. So a lot of times what happens is we'll find that there will be discrepancies with what the customer says and what the agent is saying. So the customer, for example, will say, you know, I didn't say that. They said I was going to get this discount or I could check in at this time or whatever it is. And it creates these, you know, kind of customer concerns or customer issues that, you know, in the past it's he said, she said. Um, with Pulse, it's really simple to go in, just search for the name of that contact or that customer or search for the, the, the number that they called from and be able to pull up that number and actually listen to what occurred on that call. See the agent they talked to when the call happened, information like that really can help solve a lot of disputes that way and get down to the core of what's happening. Also, from a training standpoint, a lot of companies will do you know reviews with their agents um, companies in maybe remote destinations, it can be difficult to get really, really good talented people. And so a lot of times what happens is you get maybe seasonal employees or whatever the case may be. Well, you have to quickly get them up to speed and train them. And without actually having example calls, real live information calls to review in the beginning and the beginning training process, and then for ongoing reviews to see how they're progressing, it could be difficult to understand, you know, how they're doing on these calls. And you may not know why you're called, you know, you may not know that they might have, say, a 15% closing rate and someone else has a 30%. Well, what are they doing that this other person isn't doing? So Pulse helps you with that by allowing you to go in and filter by call result, by agent, and then go in and, and have a listen and kind of score those calls. So, for example, if I'm doing some training with Don here or Bob or whoever it might be, I may log into the system and say, I want to listen to all one opportunities that they booked in the month of January. And I want to pull three or four of those out and use those as, as examples for training. Or perhaps I want to listen to some calls that didn't convert and find out, you know, what happened on those calls. What was the reason? What were things that we could improve? Or perhaps I want to go in and I want to run and, and get an understanding of calls that converted from unique ad campaigns. What happened? What were the reason they converted versus other campaigns? So with our call log tool, all this information is readily available for you uh, to use to help improve your operations. A couple more key features of the software. Um, we have dynamic web tracking built in. So when you go in to create your campaigns, it's really easy. It's really just a three-step process. It's fast, it's simple, and it's easy to get better ROI, ROI numbers across your campaigns. So the first thing that you do is you come and you create a campaign. So I'm going to do this in real time. Click campaign. Let's say this is advertising campaign number three. And this is a $5,000 budget for us, and I'm going to make it active. So I'm going to save that campaign. Now, once I've saved the campaign, I'm going to go back to my configuration, and I'm going to go to my numbers. I'm going to go ahead and add a number here, and I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add a toll free number for this one. Okay, so I'm going to search for numbers. I'm going to grab that number right there. I'm going to open this up. There's my number. Just provision it to my account. I'm going to update that number and I'm going to attach it to the advertising campaign I just created. And I'm going to attach it to our standard call plan. We'll do a separate demo later about routing and call plans, but just know that the call plan helps to organize or structure where your calls are routing at any given time throughout the year and throughout the day. So I'm going to assign it to that call plan. Now that I've assigned that advertising campaign to this number and this call plan, I'm going to go grab a domain. So I'll just use the general Yahoo domain. So I'm going to go back into Pulse. I'm going to click into Web Tracking. I'm going to select that advertising campaign. Select my landing page. I'm already going to have this JavaScript code built into my website. It's a dynamic tracking code. And then I can decide if I want to assign the credit to the first click or the last click. And here's the CSS class, which is going to help show 
the code where to put the phone number, the dynamic tracking number once they click from this source. So now I'm going to go into my advertiser or my publisher. This is the URL that I'm going to give them for the tracking. And it's going to be able to dynamically flip the 800 numbers for that particular campaign to help better understand the ROI of how many phone calls that campaign is generating. Now, once the calls come in, they're going to call into the agent dashboard. I'm going to take the call, and all of those calls are going to be dispositioned. So all five or 10 or 15 or 20,000 leads and contacts that you capture, even if they don't book right there, are going to go into a central CRM database within Pulse that you'll have access to, to sort or filter or follow up or export for email marketing or whatever it might be. There's so many benefits of Pulse, but overall, the main goal is right now, you may be sitting there and over the next 12 months, you may have 10 to 15 to 20,000 calls that will call your reservation staff. You're going to close a certain percentage. If your team's really good, you might close 25 or 30 percent. But that's still going to leave 7 to 10 to 12 to 15,000 people that don't book. Pulse is going to have you help you capture those people, follow up with those people, and bring transparency across all of your reservations operations. And ultimately, we're seeing companies generate significant ROI when using a software like this. So to find out a little bit more about Pulse, to see if it's right for your business, to find out what it might cost you based on your size of business, how we implement it, how to get it implemented with your business, um, certainly reach out to your account manager if you're already working with resortsandlodges.com and track. Um, otherwise, if you're new, uh, you can certainly send an info request to me, mrenner at resortsandlodges.com. That's M-R-E-N-N-E-R -N -N -E at resortsandlodges.com. Um, otherwise, you can submit a request to info at trackhs.com. Otherwise, you can call sales and we'll certainly be able to help you. Um, appreciate your time. And at this time, I'm going to answer a few questions. It looks like we have, uh, do we have some notes in track? Uh, does it also record outbound? Um, it has the ability to, although it's illegal in most locations. So, for example, in Florida, um, we can't track outbound calls. So that would have to be something that we would uh, you know, have to talk to you about on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, any other questions, you can enter chats into the chat box. Okay. Well, if you come up with anything, um, just let me know and I'd be happy to take a call with you. Uh, but I appreciate your time and, uh, have a great rest of the day. We'll be doing these uh, demos frequently, so thanks.